Who needs the transfer market? Nah, but in all seriousness, we should have obviously done better in that window. But forget it, it's over, it's done. Concentrate on the football. And thankfully, that's exactly what our team did. A little bit of rustiness, a little bit of, you know, sloppy play, um, which is kind of understandable. You know, hopefully it doesn't really last for too long. Um, and we can eradicate that from our game and, you know, start playing our football. But from a World Cup year, you know, you're never always going to start off straight going, you know, properly 100% for everyone. But, you know, a good game overall. Um, we did allow Leicester a little bit too much possession uh, for my liking, but they didn't really create anything from it until the latter stages of the game. Uh, a couple of chances where David De Gea made uh, some terrific saves. Um, two in total to be honest like top David De Gea saves um, but other than that they didn't really create too much uh, obviously it started off wonderfully for us uh, I think it's 70 or 80 seconds in and Paul Pogba uh, scores a penalty for us well 70 seconds we get a penalty so it's about what two minutes two and a half minutes and then Pogba scores with a, a ridiculous run up to be honest but thankfully he scored captain Paul Pogba I don't think it's just for this game. I genuinely think he's our captain going forward for this season. And that, that just has a nice ring to it. Paul Pogba, captain of Manchester United and World Cup winner. But, um, yeah, anyhow, uh, the, the penalty, yeah, there wasn't really much to be. It was just a little bit of silliness from uh, the Leicester defender. I forgot who it was. Uh, my apologies. But, yeah, we slotted that away. And then after that, you know, for the next 10 minutes, we looked as though, yeah, we're going to get a second, we're going to get a third. But then Leicester got a foothold into the game and, yeah, it kind of died away. A um, little bit of sloppiness uh, in particular from Fred, you know, adjusting to the Premier League. He, he showed flashes of what he can do. There's definitely a lot of uh, ability in this player, but it, it's just going to take a little while to get used to the Premier League, you know. He did make some good tackles. He made some good passes. He also, of course, made some poor passes. So, yeah, he's just adjusting to the Premier League. Give him time and I, I think he'll flourish at United. However, one worrying factor in this game, and I hope he can just dust it off and go again because he's been really good in pre-season, was Alexis Sanchez. Really, really had a very, very poor game for United. Literally, the one chance he created was a fantastic chance. Uh, he shrugged off... Um, it wasn't Maguire. I don't know if it was uh, Wes Morgan. I, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention to Leicester's squad, if I'm uh, totally honest. But anyway, he shrugged off one, one of the Leicester defenders and played a lovely ball into Lukaku and if it wasn't for a wonderful save from Cash Michael he would have got himself an assist and Lukaku would have scored but other than that Sanchez gave up possession far too many times was bullied a lot of the times just didn't really get into the game never did for the 90 minutes unfortunately he did look very fit fitter than a lot of the other uh, players but yeah just needs to find what he was doing in pre-season I'm not too worried if it starts happening on a consistent basis then I'll get worried but yeah uh, enough of the negatives, on to the positives. Um, three players in particular shown in this game. The first one, Eric Bailly, immaculate, as always. Covered Lindelof a couple of times. That partnership just needs time to develop. Lindelof, he's not the finished article. Bailly isn't either, but he's, he's a lot closer to it than Lindelof is at the uh, present time. We didn't get a centre-back in, of course. So this is the ideal pairing I want to see. Lindelof. He's very good at reading the game in instances and, you know, passing out from the back. Uh, reading the game. That, it's hard to describe what I'm actually seeing. Eric Bailly is better at reading the game, but I, I think it can develop into a really good partnership, Lindelof. He just needs to work on just a few things. I'm certainly rating better than uh, Small and Jones and probably even Rojo. But yeah, it just needs time to flourish, that centre-back partnership. But yeah, Bay helped him out a lot at the back. Two uh, instances where Lindelof was either losing possession or just wasn't you know, clearing it fully. Bay came in, stepped it, bang, and it was away, uh, the clearance. And then made some great tackles as well. The second player, Paul Pogba, absolutely dominated, uh, well... Dominated again, not not the correct word because the possession was all Leicester pretty much. But when we had a chance, Paul Pogba was central to it. And he did play very well in that midfield role. Not only that, defensively, he was fantastic. There was a couple of uh, set pieces from Leicester where he defended really, really well. Um, that's something that we struggled with last season. So that's a massive positive that we seem to be able to defend set pieces. One game in, of course. But last season, that was a real issue for us. 
uh, but Pogba was back there defensive defensively he was tracking back a lot of the time he was winning possession and then passing it off he wasn't being too fancy in possession like Pogba can be you know sometimes that's good but a lot of the time the simpler option is the better option and that's what he did for France and he excelled and he's, he seems to be doing that for United again one game early to tell but you know from this game that's exactly what he's doing and the third Luke Shaw I am so happy for him never scored a senior goal in his career until today he played very well, uh, a few darting runs, he, he obviously still needs to work on end product a little bit, um, you know, we, we do want to see a little bit better in terms of uh, crossing and overlapping, because overlapping is his real, like, strength, you know, um, he needs to build up a bit of a partnership with Alexis if that's who we are going to be playing predominantly on the left wing, which I'm sure it will be, but yeah, Luke Shaw, a little bit of a poor touch, but you know, that's good in this instance because it showed his desire to get round the defender and manage to get a really difficult finish off from the position where it is from the way the defender's um, obviously trying to stop him, trying to drag him down. Brilliant finish into the bottom right hand corner and yeah, I'm, I'm honestly so, so happy for Luke Shaw. Mourinho went mental on the touchline, you know. He doesn't often go wild with the celebrations, or he hasn't at United, only with key wins or trophy wins for us. But this goal, he celebrated like crazy. And yeah, you could say that's because it's 2-0, but I think it's because he wants Luke Shaw to, um, what's the word, to excel. He wants Luke Shaw to be phenomenal. And, you know, what he sees in the media helps drive Luke Shaw that way. There was an interview that Luke Shaw did, and uh, he said he doesn't even listen to the media. He, Mourinho's a completely different person when he's talking to him and he knows everything he does is to try and help him benefit. So yeah, Luke Shaw, I think, will stake a claim and will become our, our first choice left back, even when Young gets back and is fully fit. Uh, but yeah, fantastic to see that he scored. Later on, we conceded a very, very sloppy goal. It's, uh, it's a cross, I think it's Gazelle. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. From that position, I, I think it's Gazelle, but whoever it is, uh, whips one in for Leicester, um, hits the post, and then it literally hits back off Vardy. Like, he, he can't miss. Um, so, yeah, made it 2-1. A little bit nervy at the end. Uh, that I was worried it could go to 2-2. But apart from that, solid display. We need to build on it, get shake off this rustiness, and just play the football that we can. Needs to be a little bit better going forward. But I think if Alexis had played like he can, that would have wouldn't have appeared as big an issue issue in this game as it did um but yeah happy with the three points and we go on to brighton away next uh, week and hopefully we can make it three more